turn the machine on and see what pops up today. Whoa, there we go. We got something different. And although the relics are not the significance of it all, just finding the site is, is the remarkable point. And I'm right in the cave-in of the lip. Oh, it's not iron. All right, so here we go. We are back at William's site, our lost colonial farm that was established sometime in the early 1700s, probably abandoned sometime around 1800. This will make trip number five out here. Actually, I'm walking away and I'm thinking about it. Today's trip number four. Back to what I was saying. Probably gonna stay an hour or so. At that point, we'll have had four hours in on this site. That's why I'm filming this in series so you guys can all see the reality of what it takes going through the paces, you know, finding the sites and how much time is put in for the amount of relics that we get out of it. And although the relics are not the significance of it all, just finding the site is, is the remarkable point. But I think doing this in series really gives you guys some perspective. So let's turn the machine on and see what pops up today. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Probably gonna be iron, but it's solid. And I'm right in the cave-in of the lip. That woodpecker has been going off every single time we were here. I could find this place now just by that woodpecker. Oh, it's not iron. Great find. Look at that from a shoe buckle. Wow, that rang up so low. Well, that's a good way to start. Huh, 47. I better check that hole. Same thing, upper 30s, bouncing to upper 40s. But today I'm going a lot slower than past trips. It's usually what happens. And I'm gonna concentrate on the lip today. At some point in the future, because we're gonna make a test site out of this, we're gonna go really thorough. I wanna get in here with rakes, clean out all this brush, just take it down level by level. What happens so many times uh, through the years with group digs is we find sites, we work them for the day, and then we move on. We don't really cover them thoroughly unless it's ones like you saw last year on the NT episodes that I just kept going back to and back to, and the results were awesome. This is really what needs to be done. Whoa, there we go. We got something different. Is it a watch winder? Look at that beautiful thing. That's my guess, it's a watch winder. Wow, that was difficult. See, that's why we gotta go slow. Dig all them low signals. Beautiful. Oh, that's that was. That was a chunk of nail head. I sound like I shifted it. I can't believe the ground is still frozen in a lot of spots like it is. Awesome. A button, frozen. I cannot believe right here, uh, no more than an inch under this stuff, frozen solid, but yet over there, no problem. With shank. Beautiful. 
Very beautiful. Yep. Well, 1700s artifacts out of here. Good. So, that makes one item per side, three sides so far, of the lip. Shoe buckle innards, button, watch winder. So, going slow and being more thorough is paying off because uh, when George and I were here the other day, we we're having a good time, but we were just circling round and round and round. But not taking our time because we were having a good time, you know? Well, I just pulled this out. It's the tip of a knife blade. It's not a dinnerware knife, though. See how it's contoured? Pretty much right through the center of the blade. That's different. Piece of pewter. Straight up just a piece of pewter. Uh, the next phase in this whole process, trip five, whenever that is, will be to clean the ground. There's so many down trees and stuff that need to get out of the way. Move on to that next level, but this signal sounds good. Again with the nail. Can't be. Well, there you have it. That really good signal was a iron nail. Well, that's it for the quick dig. Another successful day, but today being slow, low, work the lip. Uh, looking forward to coming back. I'm going to give this place a break for a bit because as we've seen there's still some frozen sections and we want to let the ground defrost so coming up in the next few videos we're going to venture out and see what is outside of Williams property uh, it has got to be something out there there's a lot of land as always love you guys thanks for always watching we'll see you soon until next time enjoy your not Thursday <laughs>